Hello. So in this problem, we are given a free body diagram. The free body diagram is rotated from what you will traditionally expect. So you have the x-axis over here. And the y-axis over here, right? So it's rotated from being completely uh, from being horizontal. And the forces are one in this direction, which is five newtons, one in this direction, which is 2.82 newtons. And then you have one going straight down like that. That one is three newtons. This one is 5.0. Significant figures. And this one over here is one newton. The angle over here. So if you draw a, I'm going to make this a little bigger, a little longer. If you draw a horizontal line over here, then this angle is 20 degrees. Okay, so we are given these forces. Uh, we are told that the mass of the object is two kilograms. And you're asked to calculate the values of the acceleration in X and the values of the acceleration in Y. All right, so we're going to use Newton's second law, which says that force equals mass times acceleration. These are vectors, so force is a vector, acceleration is a vector. Mass is a scalar, but it's the proportionality constant. And so since they are vectors, they are going to have their components. So the sum of forces, the X component of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration in the X direction. And the forces in the vertical direction or the force equal to mass times acceleration in the Y direction, okay? Uh, and remember that the laws of physics hold equally well for orthogonal components. So they hold for X and for Y. And uh, this will be the net force. So the net force is the sum of all the forces in the X direction. Over here too. some of forces in Y. So I guess we can just write them over here. For X, we have a uh, 5.0 Newtons. So I like to start with the negative ones. You know, I just, I always do it the same way. And so I remember how to proceed. So this is negative 1.0 Newtons. And this one is positive, 5.0 Newtons. And that's it, those are the, oh no, we have a, a, another one over here, this component, um, which is negative. So let's take a look at that one. So in order to have some space, I'm going to get rid of 
guess I'll have to do it over here. So we have this triangle that looks, I look like this. Actually, I'm gonna use the same colors. This one is purple. This one is purple. This one is pink, which is this one. And then we have another one, which is blue over here, which is this vector. But this vector, it's also, we know that is orthogonal to the horizontal direction. So it's just pointing, it's pointing exactly down. And this angle over here is 20 degrees. This angle over here, because this is the horizontal and this is the vertical, this angle is 90 degrees. Well, so it's this angle, right, on both sides. And so remember that the sum of all the angles inside of a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So this angle over here is 90, and this angle minus uh, this angle here is 20. Okay, so 180 minus 90, well, that's 90. And minus 20 degrees, that's 70 degrees. So this angle over here, it's 70 degrees. Now, this angle, well, the angle, this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. So this angle is also 90 degrees. They are orthogonal, this whole thing. And so one side is 70 degrees. So what about the other one? Well, that's one is the same. It's 90, this whole thing, minus, uh, well, actually, sorry, it's minus 70 degrees. So that one is 20 degrees. So let's put it over here. This one is, I use this color, 20 degrees. What about this one? We don't really care about that one. We're not gonna use it, but this will be um, 180 minus 90, that's 90, uh, minus 20, that's 70. So it will be 70 degrees. OK. So we were given this angle, the 20 degrees. So what is the angle over here between the this vector that is pointing straight down and the y-axis. Well, it's 20 degrees also. So this angle, I'm gonna say theta, make it a little bit, theta is 20 degrees. All right, good. So then uh, we have, I'm gonna do the X component first, right? So sum of forces in X equals uh, one Newton, uh, negative one Newton. This one is also negative, like if we put it straight this is X, this is Y, and this is this vector, the three Newtons. And this angle is 20 degrees. So we can get the component, it's gonna be negative because it's in the negative X direction. And we can use the sine 
because it's the opposite side. So minus mm, three newtons sine of 20 degrees, and then plus five uh, point zero newtons. That is equal to mass times the acceleration in X. So what is uh, three sine 20? Well, sine 20 is 0.34. And times three, that's 1.02. We have one significant figure. So the sine 20 is 0 0.34. 0 0.34 times three, that's 1.02. Newtons, but we have only one significant figure, so we can get rid of the two. So that's one Newton. Okay, so negative one, um, minus one, that's negative two, plus five, that's three. So the sum of forces in the x direction is 3.0 Newtons. That's equal to mass times acceleration in X. Since we, what we're looking for is the acceleration in X and we divide by the mass. And we get the acceleration and the mass we were told in the problem is two kilograms. Right, so units uh, are gonna be meters per second squared. And the value is gonna be 1.5 positive because this five is, is greater, 1.5 meters per second squared. Okay, so that is the first number that we're looking for. So I'm gonna write it over here. Now we are going to find the Y component. So the Y component is the same, or the same procedure. Sum of forces in the Y direction because I can get rid of everything. In the white direction, we only have um, this is x and this is y, rotating it. So we have this one over here and this one over here, we want the y component. Uh, so we're gonna use cosine because this is the adjacent side, okay? So this one is negative, let's start with the negative. So that's negative uh, 3.0 Newtons cosine of 20 degrees plus 2.82 Newtons and that is equals that is equal to mass times acceleration in Y. So cosine 20 is 0 0.939, so 0 0.94. 0 0.94 times negative three will give us uh, 2.819, which is pretty close to 
So it will be negative 2.82 newtons. This is negative. This is positive. So the whole thing is equal to 0. OK. We want the acceleration in y. So uh, this is the force, right? Equals sum of forces in y divided by the mass. The sum of forces is 0. We just computed that. The mass is 2 kilograms, but uh, this is newtons, and this is kilograms. So the acceleration is 0 meters per second squared. So we can put it over here. That is the final answer. OK. And if you um, want to, I guess, have a, a more um, real world, more practical idea of what this might represent, this abstract phase, um, uh, free body diagram, this probably represents gravity. Gravity is always pulling down, like straight down. But this is probably an object that is on a, a hill or some sort of um, slope, right? And so mm, this is probably the normal force being uh, exerted by the ground. Uh, there's a tension over here, or some you know something is is pulling this thing. So it could be a tension in this direction, or it could be um, that is you know it's being pulled, or maybe it's an engine you know, of a car, and then it's moving in this direction. Um, there's some other force over here, so I think maybe my my best interpretation of what this is. Um, Let's see, it is a little bit too steep. This is only 20 degrees, something like that. Um, maybe it's a tow truck. Um, the engine is um, moving this thing forward. And it's pulling something like, well, the, these forces are too small to be a tow truck, maybe like a, a toy truck or something. Uh, but there might be another you know, car over here. This is pulling, a, exerting a force in this direction. But this one is exerting a bigger force in that direction. And there's gravity pulling exactly down. And because there's a, a hill, a component of gravity is actually pulling this thing back down. And this is the normal, right? So the acceleration in y is zero. So this thing stays on the road because the x direction, uh, sorry, the, the y direction will be moving up or down the road. It is zero. They cancel each other out. So this is, thing is not moving uh, in the vertical direction. And in the horizontal direction, this force is greater than the sum of this force pulling the thing down or dragging it down, and gravity also dragging it down. So it is accelerating in the x direction. It is moving in that direction. So yep, this is uh, one of our first encounters with free body diagrams. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs>